Right now, we are following two big stories. More questions, but no verdict in Bill Cosby's sex assault trial. The latest request the jurors had today. But first. Everybody was in the line of fire. The people in the dugout were, were seeing the bullets careening off the dirt. Politicians run for cover after a gunman opens fire on their baseball practice, shooting five people, including a congressman. What the shooter asked right before that attack. And two local lawmakers just missed being at the scene of that shooting. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jessica Dean. And I'm Natasha Brown in for Yuki tonight. Now, we are learning a lot more about the gunman who opened fire. Five people, including Republican Congressman Steve Scalise of Louisiana, were shot at a congressional baseball practice in Alexandria, Virginia. Scalise is the House Majority Whip and is currently in critical condition. We also know police shot and killed the gunman. He's been identified as 66-year-old James Hodkinson of Illinois. Authorities are investigating whether this shooting was politically motivated. The gunman left chilling clues on his Facebook page. Gunfire rang out at a congressional baseball practice in Alexandria, Virginia this morning. Five people were hit, including House Majority Whip Steve Scalise of Louisiana, who was shot in the hip. He dragged himself after he was shot from near second base about 10 or 15 yards into the field. Lawmakers practicing for their annual bipartisan charity game ran for cover. I was behind the dugout. My son Jack got under an SUV and uh, he was very brave. Congressional police returned fire, killing the shooter, identified as 66-year-old James Hodgkinson of Illinois. A congressman says the gunman approached him in the parking lot and asked which political party was practicing. I responded that it was a Republican team practicing, and he proceeded to shoot Republicans. You take that for what it's worth. Investigators are still looking into the gunman's motives, but he posted anti-Trump sentiments on his social media accounts and had volunteered for Bernie Sanders' presidential campaign. I am sickened by this despicable act. Democrats practicing on a nearby field stopped to pray when they heard what happened. President Trump called for unity. We are strongest when we are unified. An attack on one of us is an attack on all of us. Lawmakers say the game will go on tomorrow as planned. We, we can't let haters win, and, and, uh, and they won't. We'll, we'll, we'll play. Security measures are stepped up around the Capitol in response to the shooting. Two local Republican lawmakers were supposed to be at today's practice. Pennsylvania Congressman Ryan Costello tells Eyewitness News he missed his ride to the ball field by two minutes. They leave at 6 a.m. sharp. I was out there in my uniform at 6.02 and texted them, and they said that they had just left. So then I just changed uh, and started my work day at around 7. And uh, the TV was on in the background, and I heard uh, baseball practice shooting Congress, and I looked up, and I saw the baseball field on the television screen where I practice every morning. Pennsylvania Congressman Pat Meehan also missed the practice. We'll hear more from him tonight on Eyewitness News at 6 o'clock.